Good morning everybody. So we're going to do some more trailer decking. I know how to do trailer decking out them. I got good at it at the uh, I'm working on my trailer. Uh, on our way back from a big job about an hour and a half away from here. The boards broke with the where's the 160? 160 is over there. It uh, the board broke and amidst the hour and a half ride home the boom settled down and stabbed a big hole in the trailer decking and bent that beam all to crap so we just took the mini and pried it back over and I got new boards um, for this section right here went and got those from Jack this morning we ripped put one on the mill on the edger and ripped it down to four inches so uh, yeah we're going to we got the other board ripped off with a mini gonna lay these in here and go ahead and drill some holes and get them screwed down and, and have a new section of trailer <laughs> we're not doing it all but we're gonna have a new section oh and here's the shop we got a, a matching barn now too there's a skid steer in the tractor and here's the old mini and the motor grader and the 160 and and trailer decking that's not where it needs to be right now all right Tim you want to move those boards over here? You want me to help you? Help you, be preferable. Yeah, I mean, I loaded them by myself. Well, two of them. Jack helped me with the other ones. I picked up that little one. I think it'll bridge the gap. Oh, it will. Uh, when we lay them on here, see how the crown? Look at. I'm gonna teach you something. Look at the end of the board now. You see the grain of the wood? How it's it's curled down? Yeah. No, look at the very end of the board. Oh, just, oh, Flip yeah. it over. You always want to put them up because if you put them with the crown facing uh up it'll cup well i guess you that is technically up yeah that, that you're gonna have a bad day here in a second let me go help him you know it'd be nice if they made drill bits worth a damn anymore <laughs> brand new drill either this steel is really really hard which i'm hoping is really really hard let's see where do i want to put that we'll put it right there but these drill bits really really suck i think it's a mixture of both <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna sit on it for a minute. I think the uh, steel's really, really hard because that other drill would drill right into mine. It, I mean, screw the deck screws down, but it wouldn't even thread it in. But we're getting there. I mean, you just sit here and ponder life for a second. It will eventually go. We only got four more boards left after. I went and got deck screws for mine yesterday, and I think we're going to use them all on this. <laughs> the first time I bought 125, I thought that'd be enough. That didn't even get half of it done. Bought another 150, and I still didn't have enough. So I went and bought another 125 yesterday, and we're going to use half of them on this trailer. It's not even mine. You have to buy some stock and deck I just screws. I buy like a whole five gallon bag of them. All right, right, my hand hurts now. Now we get to put the screws in and you get to drill the next one. Fair is fair, you know. I drilled the whole last trailer, I got it. <laughs> We've got a problem. Well, we're on our second problem and the second solution is not working. The shop's so far away, we're 200 feet away from it. We're losing, losing so much voltage through the drop cord that the drill does not have enough power. That drill does not have enough power. This drill through that power supply does not have enough power, so we're brought the little generator, and I don't think even plugged directly into it, it's got enough power to go. Not working. We did the other trailers with it. I mean, I got hurt. I did the whole other trailer with it. 250 some screws and it never had a problem. We'll be black with Plan C. Right, let's try this beam right here so it's not as thick as that one. We'll be back with 
plan C. So we figured out a solution. And Mr. Milwaukee was the solution. The uh, the impact gun works great. We got an impact Torx head bit T40 for it. So what I do is I get a screw and I dip it in some grease. And then we drive it home with the impact gun. Let's go watch. that's how it works this has been like the handiest little thing ever but it's not little um, <laughs> we even moved the trailer up closer to the shop to get the so we could cut down on drop cords and it still uh, it still didn't work with the drill so uh, the old impact gun worked good on that that's gonna be a good solution we just need better drill bits now right Tim huh we just need better drill bits now those are brand new. I don't. I don't get why they're not drilling. I mean, this must be some super hard steel because it drills mine fine and dandy. Oh well, only got about 60 more to do. Just like that, we got a new patch. <laughs> I mean, really, the rest of the decking on this trailer is fine, but uh, that was definitely broke out. I had to take the. That was a tight fit right there. That was a tight fit. The boards ended up being an eight and a quarter. I thought they were going to be eight inches, so uh, I had a going to leave a quarter inch gap in between. But it ended up being the exact same measurement as the gap, so I had to like beat that in there with a sledgehammer. But it's nice and tight, and it'll uh, serve its purpose now. Hopefully, we can go ahead and find a steel plate, kind of like that uh, diamond thread right there, and put a spot right there where the excavator boom lays down and hopefully it won't knock another hole in the deck well that's done so Jason works a lot his trailer got its maiden voyage the other night uh, evening I got home and one of the farmers down the road had six round bales of hay left that's all he had it's been a really wet winter this year and they everybody's pretty much sold out of hay this is actually horse hay but um i went and got the last six bales knowing that getting cows supposed to have cows this week but the uh weather kind of prolonged the farmer for rounding them up so i'm getting them next week but i went ahead the pasture hasn't really come in the best in the world so i went ahead and got the last six bales he had it'll last a while but i wanted to just go ahead and get it so loaded his trailer up uh, farmer said these things weigh about 1,200 pounds a piece, which I believe them because it's it's a lot heavier than your regular uh, just round bell for uh, this cow hay. I mean, like I said, this is actually a, a horse hay. It's packed in there tight too, so I'm gonna. Uh, I don't have a hay spear yet for the tractor, so I'm gonna attempt to try to pick these things up with the forks on the tractor. I think I can can go up under them and and get them picked up. Regardless, it'll be interesting, so I will do a little video and see what happens.
how this one's going to turn out because it's pretty flat.
good. Just use the ballot board from now on then. That was so much easier than uh, trying to pick it up. I guess you don't know until you try.